rest and notice how you feel. So this might be your first ever yoga class, so welcome. And what this practice is, is it's a physical activity where we um, stretch and strengthen and balance and breathe and move. And this is also an experience where we kind of connect deeply into some deep kind of philosophy, um, spiritual aspects of this practice that is rooted in um, kind of Hinduism, Buddhism, Indian philosophy. So just allowing yourself to really come into the space. Let your shoulders drop down and let your breath be nice and deep. Let your eyes close. And today, this is gonna be kind of a beginner's flow. We'll just move really slowly, and mindfully with attention. So start to wiggle your fingers and your toes a little. Maybe move your head a little side to side. And then stretch your feet down, stretch your arms up and overhead. So reach your arms up and over, stretch your feet down low, so stretch your body from the top to the bottom of reach. Good, and now bend your knees into your chest, give yourself a little squeeze. And rock from side to side with your knees hugging in. Rock to the right, rock to the left, just side to side. And then from here, squeeze and lift your shoulder blades up off the mat. So bring your nose up towards your knees. Good, lower down, and then stretch your left leg long to the bottom of the mat, hug your right knee into your chest. So you can keep your head and shoulders down and just rock your leg a little side to side here. You can pull in and release it, circle it around. Good, and then curl your shoulders up off the mat, bring your nose towards your knee. Good. And then lower down, stretch your right leg up towards the ceiling, roll your ankle one direction and the other. Good, now really flex your foot back towards your face. Option to walk your hands up that leg, drop in. Good. And then slowly lower down and stretch your right leg down next to the left. Let your arms relax by your side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Hug your left knee into your chest. Give a squeeze. And smooth your knee a little side to side. Drop in and release. And then lift your shoulders up off the mat from your nose towards your knee, drop in. Good. Lower down. And then stretch your left leg towards the ceiling. You can grab behind your thigh, roll your ankle here. Good. Circle your ankle in the other direction. Good. Now point your toes and flex your foot. Keep it flexed and see if you can walk your hands up that leg. Here we go a little bit deeper into your stretch. Good, lower your head, your shoulders back down, and then stretch your left leg long to the bottom of the mat. Good, again, stretch your feet down low, reach your arms up high, lengthen your body top to bottom, stretch. Good, bend your knees into your chest again, rock a little side to side. Now see if you can grab behind your thighs, rock a little up and down along your spine, up and down. And then rock up into a seated position. So come into a comfortable cross-legged pose, and if cross-legged doesn't feel good for you, if you're tight, we'll sit with your legs extended straight. Good. Bring your hands on your knees, and try to make some circles through your spine here. Good. Nice gentle circles. Your arms stay straight and come bend. So do you all have mandatory testing, like COVID testing? Do you have one of it? So are students required to have them like, regularly? Non athletes, is that part of your? But you all have one before you came back to Cambridge. Yeah. I just make it to um, take our temperature after Cambridge. And everyone feels safe and everything. Great. So lift up nice and tall, and then bring your shoulders up towards your ears. 
and then circle your shoulders around, back and down. Okay, up, around, back and down. Up, around, back and down. Good, now squeeze your shoulders straight up towards your ears, inhale. And then exhale, drop your shoulders down. Inhale, squeeze your shoulders up. Exhale, drop your shoulders down. One more time, inhale, shoulders squeeze. And then circle around, back and down. Keep your shoulders a little shake, 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 shake. Good. Reach your arms down by your sides, tensing up onto your fingertips. Inhale, stretch your arms out and up. Good. And then exhale, float your arms out and down. Starting to connect the breath and the movement. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. Good. Now lower your right hand down beside you. Stretch your left arm up and over for a little side bend. And think about kind of pulling your top shoulder back, really lengthening through your side. Maybe your top wrist circles a little bit. Good. And then lean a little bit more. Good. Now lower your left hand down and fold over your right knee. So kind of walk yourself over and fold over that leg. Yeah, good. So you can keep your sitting bones grounding down and then walk your hands back a little bit with your chest. Good. And then fold your chest down over your leg. So think about almost moving your spine a little up and down over to the side. Yeah. Good. And then just hold it there. Pause and breathe. You can kind of feel stretching the low back on the left side. Good. Now come up onto your fingertips and walk yourself to center. And then see if you can fold here. Maybe walk your hips back a little, stretch your arms forward. Good. Soften. Tight. Yeah. Painful. Yeah. Okay. Walk your hands back in with your chest. Circle your shoulders up, back and around. So remember, straighten your legs across feels really tight. That might help. Actually, everyone straighten your legs out. You can your legs a little shake, 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 shake. Good. You can point and flex your feet. Good. Shake, shake, shake. And then bend your knees, point your feet down. And just sway your knees from side to side. And kind of initial labor back and forth. Back and forth. And now come back into a cross legged position and see if you can do opposite shin in front. So if you do your right leg cross in front before, your left leg, and you don't remember if you try both, one should feel a little different. Um, and then legs are extended straight if this is like really painful. Good. Reach your arms down by your sides. And then inhale, stretch your arms out and up. And exhale, float your arms out and down. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Good. One more. Inhale, arms stretch high. Good. Lower your left hand down. Stretch your right arm up and over. Side bend. Good. And then maybe kind of pull your top shoulder back. Maybe you gaze up. You have your left hand down. Maybe your forearm comes down. Good. Feel that length of your side. Thanks. Breathe. Relax your face. Good. And then rise back up. And twist in that direction. One hand to the knee, one hand behind your back. Now lengthen. And exhale, twist. Good. Come back to face forward and see if you can walk yourself over that left leg. Good. And then here you can walk your hands back a little with your chest. You can walk your hands forward. Think about bowing your chest down over your leg. Just turning your knee like that a little bit, opening up through your spine. Good. And then just hold here, lowering down over that knee. Breathe. Good. Stretch your arms forward, come onto your fingertips, and walk your way to center. Maybe walk your hips back a little and stretch forward, palms, breathe. Good. And then rise back up. Lift your shoulders up toward your ears, circle around, back and down. And then inhale, arms to the side, reach them up. With exhale, twist to the right. Hand behind your back, lift up. Good, twist back. Good, come back to face forward. Bring your hands on your knees, round your spine, shift back. Good, arch your spine, shift forward, slide your shoulders down your back. Good, come to center, and then swing your legs around behind you. Make your way onto hands and knees, all fours. So spread your fingers nice and wide, make really big palms with your hands. Good. So wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. 
Good, and then start here by just moving your hips a little side to side. Good, so just kind of shift your hips back and forth, side to side. Good, maybe you're gonna look over one shoulder, look over the other, Good. back and forth. Good, and now stretch your left leg back behind you. Tuck your toes. Good, keep your foot on the floor. I'm just gonna stretch a little forward and back. Okay. Good, and then lower that leg. Stretch your right leg back behind you with your toes tucked. I'm gonna shift a little forward and back. Good. Come back to tabletop position, all fours. And then shift towards the back of your mat. Bring your big toes together and your knees wide. Send your hips to your heels, stretch your arms forward, child's pose. You can get your forehead to touch the mat. Nice. And then think about really dragging your hips back towards your heels, reaching your arms forward a little bit more. Make sure your knees are nice and wide. Good. So this is a resting pose. Maybe it doesn't feel very restful, but maybe after a couple weeks it might. And I just want you all to know, in this class and any yoga practice you're ever in, you can always rest and take breaks. Um, if you need to kind of regroup, if something doesn't feel good, just know that um, that's totally okay. If you're really tired and the best thing for your body today would just be to lie on your mat, that's all right. That's listening to your body, which is what we want to cultivate here. So see if you can bring your hips back a little further, reach your arms out in front of you a little bit more, and lift up onto your fingertips and lift your gaze. Walk your upper body over to the right. Feel a stretch through your side, maybe left hip towards your left heel, breathe. Good, come up onto your fingertips, walk your way to center. Good, and then over to the left. Chest over your thigh, maybe feel a stretch in the low back of your right side there. Good, lift up onto your fingertips, walk it to center. One more breath in child's pose. Good, now inhale and come up into a tabletop position on all fours. Good, from here we'll start to really warm up and move the spine around, tuck your toes, arch your spine, lift your hips, your gaze is called pelvis. Good, now point your toes and round your spine for cat, press the mat away, chin to chest. Good, yeah, now inhale and cow. Tuck your toes, arch your spine, shift your shoulders forward over your wrists. Good, and then point your toes around your spine. Again, inhaling cow, tuck your toes, arch your spine. And then exhale, cat, point your toes around your spine. Come back to a neutral tabletop position, and again, just move your hips a little side to side. Good. Bring your knees together and tuck your toes. Walk your hips back um, towards your heels. Keep your toes tucked underneath you. And see if you can sit back for a toe stretch. Now you can reach back and see if you get your pinky toes involved. Notice that the pinky toe is kind of getting left out. If this feels like too much, you can kind of stand up on your knees. Good. And then bring the backs of the hands together like this. And just point down. Good. Stretch your palms forward. Good, then bring your hands back around and then forward like this. So pinkies up, box the hands stay together, stretch it forward, palm up, then circle back around and through. So you can bring your shoulders over your heels a little bit more. Good, now stretch your arms straight up towards the ceiling and flick your fingers, flick, flick, flick. Big tight fist, big palm, flick, flick, flick. So waking up your fingers, your hands, your wrists. Good, strengthening a little bit. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good, now shake, 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 shake it, shake, 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 shake it. Good, come on to hands and knees and tap your toes out on the mat. Really loud, you like you're having some of your hands. And back to a, just a quiet table pose. Breathe in, breathe out. So, next we'll come into downward facing dog. Before we do that, I just want to go over a couple alignment things. So, look down at your hands and make really big palms. Spread your fingers wide. Make sure that first finger faces forward. And then kind of soften your hands and like lift your palm up a little bit. So that kind of tends to happen. Um, you just kind of get like, I don't know, like we just will like lift the middle of the palm. See if you can press your palm down really wide, like the mat is really sticky and you can move underneath your fingers. Good. Now squeeze your fingers towards the palm, towards the heel of the hand, like kind of tony, like you're going to kind 
kind of like scrape the floor. You feel some tone in your fingers or speed. Go ahead and lower. And you want your hands about um, shoulder width distance apart. So look where your shoulder is for some of that. So just watch me and then we'll come into it. You're gonna tuck your toes and lift your hips to down dog. And a lot of you might be like this, bend your knees a lot, hips towards the sky, and then maybe one day heels down, chest back, and spread your fingers wide. You want the weight evenly distributed between the hands and the feet. So spread your fingers wide and stand in your hands. Go ahead, tuck your toes and lift your hips to down dog. Good. So set your feet about hip positions apart at the back of the mat. Good. Bend your knees a lot. Bend your knees. Good. Bend your knees even more. Good. Now let your left heel come down. Bend your right knee. And then switch right heel, left knee bend. So like you're pedaling out your feet. Go pedal and pedal. Bend and straighten. Yeah, just like that. Good. Then hold your downward dog. Exhale. Inhale, hug your toes, ripple forward to a high plank position. Bring your shoulders over your wrists, press your heels back, hold. Good, now lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Again, high onto your toes, come forward to a plank position. Pause at the top of your push up. Good, and then drop onto your knees. Good, and just pause for a moment here. So, plank pose, you want a straight line from your heels to your shoulders. This is kind of common, and like this is kind of common. So, you want your hips right in line with your shoulders. Spread your fingers wide. So, everyone come to plank. Beautiful, very nice. Good. And really pull your front body to your back body. You almost like you go a little bit of rounding in your shoulders. Like pop up your upper back. That's good. Good. Now, drop to your knees. So, you're in a modified plank. Kind of drop your hips forward, straight line from your knees to your shoulders. Look forward. And then bend your elbows to your sides. Good, straighten your arms. Good, little bend, look forward, straighten. Then one more time, lower, halfway hold. Good, come all the way down to your belly. Stretch your legs back behind you, like some more pulling on your ankles. Good, bring your arms down by your sides, exhale. Inhale, lift your arms, legs, and chest. Good, think about kind of strengthening and lengthening through your back side and then lower down. Bring your hands down by your sides. Palms down, fingers tip, face forward. Inhale, rise up for a little baby cobra. Lift your chest and lower down. Now press into your hands and rise up, cobra. Grace, can you put your camera on, your video? Good, lift your chest and then just move a little side to side. Here. Look over your right shoulder, look over your left. And you might hear, Someone say upward dog. This is cobra, an upward dog. You press into the tops of the feet and your thighs lift. Good. Press back to child's pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Inhale, rise up to tabletop position. Good. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. From here, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Come to the top of the mat in a forward fold. Now bend your knees here a lot. Bend your knees and let your upper body hang heavy. Good, you can kind of sway your arms, sway your hands. Good, and then kind of shake out your hands, shake out your arms, your head. Good, now bend your knees and slowly roll your spine up to stand. Nice and slow, taking your time. Once you come up, squeeze your shoulders up, back and around. Good, up, back and around. And then one more time, up, back and around. Good, shake your shoulders a little bit. So the mirror is really nice because we can see our bodies and kind of see our alignment. So just notice how you're standing right now. So notice if you tend to kind of stand with your um, feet externally rotate or notice if your knees draw in a little. So just see if you can make your feet forward kind of straight. Good, and then lift and spread your toes. You can lift your hands up like this and so you're encouraging your toes to spread out. See if you can spread your toes so that none of them touch. Good, and then lower your toes down. And reach your arms forward, keep your arms down. See if you can lift your heels up, balance on your tiptoes. Good, nice. And then lower. Again, lift and spread your toes. Good, now see if you can lower just your big toe down. And then lift it. Can you lower just your pinky toe down? And lift, can you lower your big toe and pinky toe? And then the toe next to the pinky, and the toe next to the big toe. Yeah, and then all your toes. I know it's like really weird and surprisingly challenging, right? You take a little bend of your knees. 
So you can soft knee and then lift your heels up. Reach your arms forward for balance. Good. Now see if you can bend your knees and kind of squat down a little bit. So lower your right heel down and then lower your left heel down. So lower your right heel and your left heel. Good. Lift both heels. Lower both heels. Sit a little bit lower and send your butt back. Good. Then hands to the mat, fold forward. Bend your knees and around your spine. Roll up to stand. Good. Shrug your shoulders up, back, and down. Bring your feet together. Place your hands on your knees like this. And then make some circles here. And opening up all the joints in the body. Circle and circle. And then other way. Snap, crackle, pop. Was that your knee back there? <laughs> Good. And then come back up. Set your feet wide from the edge of the mat and just start to make some circles through your hips of your inside. Good. Circle your hips. You bring your hands on your hips. And kind of notice here as you circle if it feels like kind of tight or kind of good on the side, on the back, forward. Good. So just noticing. And then switch. Circle your hips in the other direction. And then slowly come back up. Circle your shoulders up, back and around. Now reach your right arm up and back. Kind of look back at your arm like you're going to do the back stroke. Good. And then facing forward, let the arm come down. And then left arm, reach it up and then circle it back. And then right arm, stretch it up. And then left arm. I'm just going to keep doing that. Kind of twisting your chest to the side, opening up your shoulders. Good. Now stretch both arms up and see if you can bring your left arm back and right arm forward. And then to the top. Yeah, so arms go in opposite direction. Left arm forward, right arm back. Yeah, I think just kind of don't overthink it. Arms to the top, just drop one forward, one back. And then another time. Good. Now switch the left arm forward, right arm back, whichever one you need to do. Up and then drop. You got this. Good. I know why is it so hard, right? Good. Both arms stretch up. Take your right hand to your left wrist. Step your feet apart a little wider, like hip width. Reach up and then over to the side. Good. Come to center. Bend your knees. Switch your grip. Reach up and then over to the other side. Good. Come back to center. Bend your elbows to a T. See if you can take a little back bend. Press your hips forward. Lift your chest. Good. Come to center and then forward fold. Hands to mat. Bend your knees, right heel, left heel, bend your knees, and sway your upper body. Good. Now bring your hands to your shins, look forward and lengthen your spine, with like a flat back, and then exhale, fold forward. Good. Inhale, stretch your arms out to the sides and rise all the way, stand, stretch up, lift up. Good. And then hands to your heart, mountain pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. How are you guys feeling? Okay. Lower your arms down. Good. Inhale, stretch the mountain up. Good. Again, take the right hand to your left wrist, stretch tall, and then gentle hinge to the side. And then option this time to step your left foot behind your right. Can you do a little curtsy bend and then straighten? Good. Come to center, feet together, switch your grip. Left hand, right wrist, reach up. And over to the left. Go ahead, see if you can step down the right, look behind your left. Go bend and straight. Good. Come to center, feet together, arms stretch high, and then bend your knees and forward fold. Lengthen your spine, look forward. Good. Plant your hands, step your feet back to plank pose. High plank position. Press the floor away, big palms on the mat. Good. Hold, hold, hold. Good. Now either bend your knees and come into modified plank, or right from here, shift forward, elbows squeeze to your sides, chaturanga. Good. All the way to the belly. Point your toes and lift up for cobra. Press back to child's pose. Big toes touch, knees wide, forehead to the mat. Breathe in. Exhale. You don't care. It's okay. <laughs> Good. Now slowly rise up to all fours. And then from here, circle your hips forward to the right and the left. 
circle your hips back around left and right and then two more times really opening up the shoulders the hips the wrists maybe you move your head and neck a little good switch to go the other direction left right back right left good pause at center Spread your fingers wide, look down at your palms, tuck your toes, downward dog. We're just gonna do one more kind of standing sequence, then we'll get into some deep stretches. Stretch your right leg up and back behind you. Good, now step your right foot forward between your hands. Good, you might need to drag it up there, drop your back knee down. Good, then walk your hands up on top of that front leg, lift your chest. Good. And then from here, see if you can straighten your front leg. Maybe sweep your arms back behind you. Good. And then bend into your front knee. Reach your arms up. Good. Straighten your front leg. Reach your arms back. And then place your hands down, framing that leg, and just find a little stretch here. Maybe move side to side and turn your toes out in flex and point. How's that? Not good. Bad. Whoa. If it's, you can also come up here. And that might feel still bad. <laughs> I don't know how you're moving side to side. I feel like you stay on the Yeah. <laughs> and then slowly shift forward, bend that front knee. Good. Let your hands frame that leg, that front foot. Tuck your back toes, lift the back knee up. Good. Now straighten your leg, see if you can shift back a little bit. Good. Bend into your front knee and shift forward. Stretch yourself back a little. Stretch forward. Now bend your front knee and reach your arms up. Press and lunge. Good. Nice deep bend of your front knee. Now see if you can kind of pull your front body and your back and engage your ribs. Good. Lift your back heel. Bend your front knee. Good. Now open to the side of the mat for warrior two. You're going to face the concrete wall. Good. Drop your shoulders down. Spread your fingers wide. Look forward. Good. Breathe. Back row, point your right toes to face forward. Look at your front leg. Yeah, right toes forward. There you go. Good. Now straighten your arms and legs. And then exhale, bend and lower down. Good. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower. Hold it here. Now see if you can reverse warrior. Left hand down there, up and over. Yeah, rise back up. And then straighten your front leg. Turn your right toes to the side of the mat like this. You can walk your feet in a little bit closer. Bring your hands to your heart. Good. Now bend your knees and kind of stick your butt back behind you. And just lunge a little here side to side. You can also reach your arms out good, side to side. Good. Now bend into your right knee and see if you can squat down super low. Yeah, use your hands and your hands in front of you. Good. And then see if you can feel stretch in that left hamstring. Good, breathe. Nice, and then move to center, bend into the left knee with the right leg to center. Good. Breathe a little bit deeper, you got this. Good, and then turn to the center, bring your toes and heels out, wide-legged fold, draw down. Good. Lengthen your spine down in front of you. Good. Now walk your hands to the top of the mat and step your right leg back to plank pose. You can hold here. You can go straight to downward dog or take your flow. Chaturanga, yogi push up, upward dog or cobra. Good. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Go back between your toes. One more breath here. Good, now lift your left leg up and back, nice and high. Good, and then step your left foot forward between your hands. Good, drop your back knee down. We're coming into a low lunge. Good, walk your hands back a little bit. Maybe walk your hands on top of your front leg. How you guys feel? Good, now from here, see if you can straighten your front leg, shift your hips back, give your arms stretch back behind you. Good, bend into your front knee, shift forward, hands come to come to your heart or forward. Good, straighten your legs, shift your hips back, and your arms go. Bend into your front knee, shift forward. Place your hands on that leg, deep stretch. Good, now lower your hands down, and then straighten your front leg. Shift your hips back. 
Good. Now, if this is impossible, if you're scrunching up your face, lock your hands on top of your thigh. Good. And then see if you can still feel that stretch in the back of the leg. Good. You can kind of play, turn your toes out, point your toes in, flex and point your foot. Good. Breathe. And then shift forward, bend your knee, plant your hands down, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up, and then walk your hands up, reach your arms, high lunge, drop your shoulders down. Good, notice where that front knee is tracking you to go forward. Good, and then open to the side of that for warrior two. So the left toes face forward, the right toes face the side. So look down at your body, look at your feet. So Front foot is facing me, yep, and then bend your front knee, left leg, other leg, yep, <laughs> arms up, drop your shoulders down. Front knee a little deeper, bend your front knee, the other one, this one, there you go, good. And then you two bend your other leg and bring your toes to face forward, the front toes. Uh, this way, yeah, back forward, <laughs> drop down, good. Inhale, arms and legs straighten. Exhale, lower. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower. One more time, rise up. Lower down, hold. See if you can reverse your warrior. Right hand down your back leg, left arm up and over. Good. Rise back up. Straighten your front leg. And then turn your left toes to face the side of the mat. You're facing the chalkboard wall. Good. Open your arms and lift your chest a little. Good, then forward fold, hands down underneath you, your head drop. Good, look forward and lengthen your spine. Again, bend to your right knee, slot low. Nice. And then bend to your left knee, squat. Good. Come to center, wide legged fold, hands come down underneath your shoulders. Good, walk yourself to the top of the mat, hands bring your front foot. Step your left leg back to plank pose. Pull your plank, go straight to downward dog, or take up and yasa, bend your elbows into your sides. Good, point your toes, rise to cobra or up dog. And then press back to child's pose. Forehead to the mat, big toes touch, knees wide. Hardest part's over, breathe in, and breathe out. Grace, can you turn your camera on you so I can see you practicing? So I'm, I know you're doing the practice. Okay, cool. One more deep breath here. And then from child's pose, rise up to a tabletop position on all fours. Good, pause here, breathing in, letting go. Stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling and then circle your arm back. Do some circles here. Good, and then circle your arm forward. Yeah, opening up that shoulder. Stretch your right arm up towards the sky, and then weave your right arm underneath your left. See if you can roll onto the outside edge of your shoulder right here to the floor. Left hand can be by your face or stretch it forward or reach it behind your back. Good, this is called thread the needle pose. Just kind of opening up that shoulder. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Deep breath in, full exhale. One more deep breath here. And then place your left hand in front of your face. If it's not already, unravel your right arm and then stretch it up towards the ceiling in a little shape, circle. And then lower your hand down, table pose, walk your head to side to side. Good, pause at center, breathe in. Exhale. Now stretch your left arm up. And then circle your arm back and around a couple times. Good. Notice where your knees are, so you can bring them apart. I'll hit for this and feel centered on your mat. Good, and then circle your arm in the other direction. Your arm. Good, now hold that arm lifted. So leave your left arm over your right, let your left ear come down. Right hand by your face. You can stretch it forward. You can bring your right hand behind your back. So then feel a twist through your spine, through your waist. Good. Breathe here. Inhale. 
myself. Deep breath in. And for the exhale, now bring your right hand in front of your face. And then unravel, stretch your left arm up towards the side. Reach it up, roll your wrist, and you shake it out. Good. And then lower your left hand down. Bring your feet wide toward the edges of the mat, knees apart, or feet together, knees wide. Sit back on your heels. Now see if you can bring your right hand behind your back, stretch your left arm up, and then option here to lift your hips, see if you can press your hips forward. Good. And then lower down. Good. Switch left hand down, stretch your right arm up, press your hips forward. Beautiful. And then lower down. Swing your legs around to one side and then sit with your legs extended straight. Good. Keep your legs nice. Shake, shake, shake. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Good. Point your toes and flex your feet. Point and flex. Now sit your hips back a little bit like this. Walk your hands forward. Sitting nice and tall, stretch your arms out in front of you. Inhale. And then exhale, fold forward. Reach your fingers towards your toes. Good. You're not the most inflexible person. Good. Good. Hold them a little bit deeper. Relax the back body. Breathe in. And exhale. Good. Now slowly rise back up to seated. Circle your shoulders up, back, and around. And then bring your hands behind your back. Palms down, fingers in. Bend your knees, plant your feet. And just sway your knees gently from side to side. Push and sway. Place your feet down, hands place down, press your hips up, you are stable. And then lower your hips down. Good, come into a cross-legged position. And if this is really uncomfortable, sit with your leg extended straight, and you can also sit with your hips on your heels, that might be comfortable, or your feet between, your hips between your feet like this, so that might be comfortable as well. Now, close your eyes. And let your hands rest on your lap. And then just breathe deeply here and notice. About 30 minutes of practice of movement, and just notice how you feel. Notice maybe what came up for you. If you felt awkward or uncomfortable or really open and strong, just noticing without judgment. See if you can lift your head up on top of your shoulders. With your spine nice and long, bring your shoulders back and down. Good. Imagine like there was a string from the top of the head lifting you up, and then feel your sitting bones rooting and grounding down. Relax your jaw, relax your forehead, and then see if you can really send your breath down into your belly. Breathing in, and then go. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And now from here, just come to lie down on your back. So scooch forward and you stretch your legs out and then lower down. All the way down. And then bend your knees <coughs> into your chest to give yourself a little squeeze. You can rock from side to side or shift a little forward and back. Almost like you're giving your low back a little massage here. Good, now drop your knees down to the right and open your arms to a T, gaze to the left for a spinal twist. Yeah, here you go. And think about maybe bringing that left shoulder down, <coughs> open to the front of your chest. Breathe in. And exhale. Deep breath in. Complete breath out. And then slowly come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. You can rock side to side, forward and back, do some circles. And then drop your knees down to the left. Open your arms to your feet and gaze to the right. Spine and twist. Drop your right shoulder down, open to your chest, breathe. And just notice what your mind is, what are all your thoughts. Keep yourself kind of centered here. 
And then slowly bring yourself back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Squeeze rock back to side. Good. Now lift your legs up towards the sky. Straighten your legs. Then bend your knees and see if you can reach, grab the outsides of the feet, happy baby pose. Good. Rock a little side to side. Maybe straighten one leg out and maybe the other. Good. Now let's start to grab your feet. Just grab behind your thighs and think about your knees drawing down outside the ribs. Good. Nice. Now stretch your legs up and stretch your arms up and give everything a really good shake. Shake, shake. So imagine there's just like a spider crawling on you. Like shake it up, shake it up. If you're flipping water off your fingers, your toes, shake a little bit harder. Really move the energy in your body. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Keep shaking a little harder. Keep going. Shake, shake, shake. And then stop your shaking. And then bring your feet together down on the mat with your knees open for reclining butterfly pose. Arms can be long by your side, or you can reach your arms overhead, grab opposite wrist, or hand, or elbow. Good. Let your eyes close. And then breathe here and notice. Inhale. And exhale. And now from here, stretch your legs straight to the bottom of the mat. Let your arms come down by your side, palms facing up, or you can bring one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest for final relaxation pose, Shavasana. So at the end of every yoga class, we just lie down. Kind of like a little now. And the pose is called Shavasana, it means corpse pose. So you can think about this like almost like a little death of your small self. So all the parts of you that you don't want to hang on to, there's kind of part of you that feels fear or insecurity or um, doubt, whatever maybe you are trying to let go of. Rest here and see if you can just let that go, let it relax. You can have your eyes closed if it's more comfortable. Keep your eyes open. And then start to bring your attention inside. See if you can let your body feel heavy. Let your skin soften off the muscles. Let your muscles soften off the bones and let your bones feel really heavy. Yes. And just know that there's nothing else for you to do right now other than lie here, be here, and cultivate a sense of presence, of awake, alert, awareness, noticing and breathing, just being. You notice that there's a certain part of your body that feels a certain way. Notice where your mind goes, where are your thoughts, and see if you can direct your attention to your breath, feeling your belly rise and fall. Most people are shallow breathers. They breathe up into the chest and the neck and the shoulders to see if you can breathe deeply down into your belly. Think about your two lungs and fill up the bottom lobes of the lungs, the middle and upper lobes. And then exhale the upper, middle, lower lobes of the lungs. So inhale a deep, full, fresh breath. Fill up a little bit more, keep filling, 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 inhaling. And then exhale completely. Exhale, 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 all the way to the bottom of the breath. And then exhale a little bit longer. Any old sail air, exhale, release. Good. And then inhale another full deep breath. Breathe into the belly. Inhale, 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 fill up, hold. And then exhale, 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 let it go, release. Let yourself get still. Let your body relax. The word yoga means yoke, 
or union or connection. It derives from the verbal root yuj, which means to join. So this practice and this class is about connecting the body and the breath. The breath and the mind, mind-body connection. For some people, yoga is about connecting you to something greater than yourself, something higher purpose, like a divine light, a bigger, deeper meaning. And for this class, this semester, Just taking it easy, being gentle with yourself, bringing back a little more rest and relaxation. Battery, 30%. Connected to your root cycle.
to deepen your breath, noticing and paying attention here, breathe in, let go, and then gently start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, rotate through the ankles and the wrists, turn your head from side to side. Now stretch your arms up and your feet down. Lengthen your body from the top to the bottom. Stretch. And then just soften all of that and let your body relax and rest. Let's slowly bend your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze, rock side to side. And then roll to your right side. Pause on your side. You're gonna make a pillow with your arms You're in a fetal position. Just pause on your side. Take a moment. Now, if you're ready, slowly press into your hands and come to a seated position, sitting up. So, sitting tall, maybe move your hips a little side to side. Lengthen your spine and then bring your hands together in front of your heart. So in yoga, when we place our hands together or make um, gestures with our fingers, it's called mudra. So this mudra is called Anjali, and it's a gesture of gratitude and commitment. So pausing here for a moment of gratitude for your body today, for your mind, for your education, for your resiliency, and just anything else you maybe want to be grateful for right now. And here you can circle back around to that intention you set, that word or phrase you want to focus on. Bring it here into your heart. Inhale. Exhale. And we close the practice with a word that just means the light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. Everyone, you did it. You made it through your first yoga class of the semester, maybe ever. Whose first ever yoga class was this? I feel like pretty much all of you did this year. How do you feel? 
relax. That's a good one. I am super calm and I would fall asleep in Shavasana. It's happened to me a bunch of times. So if it happens to you, no big deal. It means you're just letting yourself rest enough to sleep. Um, did that feel like too hard? Do you guys feel like, yeah, just feel pretty tight, some of you? Yeah. So um, I'm going to let you go and probably I won't usually class won't be this short, but um, yeah, this is kind of what it'll be like. Just moving, breathing. We'll do some like fun, challenging stuff and balance. And then we'll do some like long, hold, stretchy stuff. And um, if you look at the syllabus, that last page is kind of like a calendar of some of the things we'll be going over. So like the definition of yoga, what it means to you, the yoga sutras, which are an ancient text and then some history and philosophy and then the eight limbs of yoga, um, chakras and nadis and koshas. And so lots of really fun and interesting stuff. And um, my goal is that you'll learn things that you can really take with you relaxation skills, learning how to tap into your breath to find that like deep inner resource to help you navigate your life better. And um, studying some of the yoga philosophy can kind of be like taking an inventory of yourself and your behaviors and your thinking and your body. So um, it's stuff that I love and I think is really interesting and can be really helpful for you all. So um, that's that. And then one announcement for class on Thursday. Um, we're not going to be online, but we're not going to have class basically like class is canceled, but I'm going to record a class and you can watch it at your leisure. So um, no like in person class this Thursday, this should be the only time this happens this semester. And then I'll post something on YouTube for you to do in the meantime. And mindfulness journals we will have like an entry for today, just like a paragraph or so. And then I will see you in person next Tuesday. And just again to um, solidify, you're either in person or online. So were you planning on being online and you want to be online? You're fine being in person. Cool. So all of you, I'll expect to see you here and um, that's it. Thanks you guys. Great job. All right.